We all know Robbie Baker is having a lot of fun at Bryant Denny Stadium for the high school football playoffs, but we have our own football playoffs here at News 5, and the player of the play of the year award is currently a top story on WKRG.com. Kimber Collins joins us from the digital alert desk. Now, Kimber, I know I had a ton of fun on the sidelines this season cheering on our local teams, but how can viewers at home have some fun and vote for their favorite play of the year? Yeah, hey, Dana, there are just two more days to vote online. The poll will close this Sunday, December 6th. So if you haven't yet, go on to WKRG.com under the sports section, and you can vote for one of these three options. The first choice comes from Alberta. Brady Krueger with a great touchdown pass in week one. Leroy's Xavier Jones went in with this touchdown catch in week eight to make the list. And Fairhope's Riley Leonard with a scramble for six points in week 11. We are going to be having our Friday Night Football Fever Banquet a little different this year. The Play of the Year Award will be announced on December 14th. We will have big shout outs and award ceremonies every day that week. Something that would not make play of the year here. One Texas senior is facing criminal charges for what he did at a game Thursday night. Defensive lineman Emmanuel Duran was ejected from the game and he decided to take it out on the ref. The ref was checked out at the stadium for a concussion and Duran was escorted off the field by police. His team did win the game, but this is no way to be a good sport. On to coronavirus. As we get closer to a vaccine being approved for distribution in the states, a new question is arising. Will companies require employees to take the vaccine? The short answer is legally, yes, they can. Of course, Americans can decide to not take a vaccine due to disability or religious reasons. Both are protected by law. The Department of Defense is also working on a vaccination record card that people would carry around like IDs. A Christmas tree on the Moba County Sheriff's Facebook page is getting a lot of traction online. It's been shared more than 4,000 times. It's decorated with mug shots as part of their Thug Thursday initiative. NCSO says this is not a real decorated tree in the office, but pictures that were photoshopped on as ornaments. Some comments online say this post is insensitive. NCSO says their underlying message is getting lost by those not in our area. If you ordered presents from Nike or Macy's, listen up. UPS is reportedly telling drivers not to pick up packages from large retailers. This is because of capacity limits. Businesses include Nike, Gap, Macy's, L.L. Bean, and Hot Topic. UPS says they are working to deliver packages at record volumes, and they have worked out a plan with those large retail stores. The National Retail Federation says an estimated 186.4 million consumers shopped in-store and online this year. Those are today's online headlines. Everyone have a great weekend. At the Digital Alert Desk, I'm Kimber Collins for WKRG News 5.